in the beginning there was nothing at all. So I got a video camera, switched it on, and uploaded some videos of my tree car collection. Welcome to the Perfection Selection, a Cream of Cards TV. What connects superstars like David Bowie with these cult figures? who were equally significant since they're the ones who influenced the influencers. Winston Churchill said that history is written by the victors. What if, hypothetically speaking, we took the history books, cut them all up into their individual words and phrases, and just randomly reassemble them into an infinite number of new ones? We'll just choose the best version, portraying us as the superhero, a brave, swashbuckling heartthrob. Anyone who disagrees with us, well, we'll just demote them to the monster in our epic adventure. What puzzles me is that we live in societies that still have tribal mindsets, following long, narrow, predictable pathways like a blinkered horse forcing our human knowledge into contrived yes and no questions. No wonder the puzzle masters are geniuses at the questions they themselves set. Steve Jobs said that creativity is just connecting things. The difficult part though is choosing the random connections that actually work. If you put a bunch of monkeys on some typewriters, they may eventually punch out the entire works of Shakespeare or find an elusive cure to save mankind. But the problem is, they wouldn't even know it if they did. And, it would most likely take forever to do it. However, as long as you're not looking for word-for-word -word perfection, some of the earlier attempts might be creative in their own right. For example, what does the random combination of words fireflies off tree inspire you to come up with? Perhaps a low-energy streetlight that uses bioluminescence. Like randomly shaking a chain, if you squint your eyes a bit, you might just see the vague resemblance of a human face emerge from the random chaos of organic matter. Us humans have a natural propensity for seeing patterns in random data, like perceiving phantom faces in rock faces, or clouds, or a man on the moon. Although David Bowie and other rock stars helped popularise the cut-up technique, he got the idea from the Beat Generation writer William Burroughs, who in turn got the idea from his friend Brian Geisen. But Tristan Zara, one of the founders of the Dada movement, a precursor to surrealism, was experimenting with something very similar decades before. Like reconnecting the characters in an ancient writing system, you can interpret it in an infinite number of ways. You're not just restricted to words though, the cut-up technique can literally be applied to music and pictures of film too. Maybe your humble videos will be the proverbial butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil that triggers a storm many thousands of miles away. Thank you for watching my video and please feel free to leave a comment and feedback. Now that you see that video you might want to click on these other cardboard adventures.